I have a week and a half left of classes, which is very sad. I'm sad to be leaving this program, but that's okay because I'm going to be doing a bit of traveling after the program ends. I think I'm going to be going to Amsterdam and Madrid, hopefully, if I can book that today. And I'm not too sad to be coming back because the summer is going to be very fun. I'm working at um, Camp Payoka all summer, which is where I went to camp growing up, so I'm very excited for that. So it's Royal Wedding Week. Everyone here in London is gearing up. All the native Londoners are leaving and all the foreigners are coming in. Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. I, I think I'm going to be camping out with some of my friends, um, so it could get kind of crazy. We'll see how that goes. I've seen three shows since last week. On Wednesday, after I made my video, I went and saw Flare Path, which is a Terrence Radigan play. I've discovered Terrence Radigan this semester, and I really, really love him. Um, so if you haven't read Terrence Radigan, I recommend it. And Flare Path was great. You could definitely tell it's one of his earlier plays. It was much lighter than some of his other things, but it was great. It was World War II, which I just love, that time period. And I um, saw Sienna Miller in that, and she was pretty good. So that was very cool. And then on Thursday, I saw Hamlet, which was so, so good. I can't even describe it. I'm already a huge Shakespeare fan. I'm a big Shakespeare dork. Um, so I was already pretty, pretty excited. And then this particular production has just received great reviews and won many awards. And so, oh my gosh, I was so excited to see it. And it did not disappoint. It was maybe the best show I've been to ever. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Because Hamlet is often said to be the best thing ever written in the English language, which I don't know if I necessarily agree with, but it's it's pretty accepted that it's 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 good. <laughs> so they had good script to work with, obviously. And I was at the National Theater and their shows are always just fantastic. So I, I had high expectations and it exceeded them. Um, I was in the third row, so cool, within spitting distance, literally, of um, the star, Roy Kinnear, who played Hamlet. He is definitely a spit actor, which is fine. And he was just so captivating and so heartbreaking as Hamlet. And they did an, an incredible job. They put it in modern day, which I was also very nervous about. And just did it so well and made it so relevant and made everything make sense and didn't change the text at all. It They just transposed it and it made perfect sense and it made the show even more poignant to modern audiences, I think. Uh, probably none of you are going to get to see Hamlet here in London, but if you're in London and you are not doing anything, you have to get up pretty early probably to camp out for rush tickets, but it, it it's incredible. Um, and then... Uh, last night, I, I was introduced to Pinter, who is one of my friend's favorite playwrights, um, but I have never seen or read him. And it was interesting. It was kind of what I expected, since Pinter is that particular friend's favorite. I knew it was going to be strange, um, and it was, but it was good. It was very short, and I think it worked because it was so short, because it was very episodic and kind of nonsensical and you couldn't quite figure out what was going on, but you weren't really supposed to. And if it had gone on longer, I would have gotten frustrated with it. But it ended perfectly. Um, so, yeah, it was Moonlight. I believe my this particular friend of mine, Ben Ferber, whose favorite play is Pinter. I believe that's his favorite play by Pinter. So I have to talk to him about that because it's interesting and I want to know what he makes of it. So, yeah, I've mostly just seen a lot of plays, which is good because you know the semester is wrapping up so I want to get them all seen. It's going to be so sad when I go back and it, Tuesday's night rolls around and I'll be like oh time to go to a play. No there's no play to go to because I am in Brownstown Indiana. Yay. So that'll be sad. I do get to see two more Shakespeare shows actually. We're seeing All's Well That Ends Well. Yay. How appropriate at the Globe for our final show as a class and that'll be really wonderful I hope. And then on my own, well not on my own because I'm going with Duncan, but after we travel a bit in Madrid and Amsterdam and we're going to come back to London and see David Tennant and Catherine Tate in Much Ado About Nothing. I, I could not be more excited. This is my favorite Shakespeare comedy and I love those actors so it better be good and I, I, I expect it will. I know it will actually because how could it not be good? It's David Tennant. Oh, and speaking of David Tennant, uh, Doctor Who came back on my birthday because I'm awesome, and it was it was a very interesting episode. The season's gonna be a whirlwind, I am sure. Um, but I like Matt Smith; he's great. 
So yeah, it's sad. I'm going to be packing up soon and cleaning the flat out and leaving. Sad face. But that's all right. This coming semester will be just as fun, I'm sure. No, I don't think any semester is going to be as fun as this one was. Sad face. But happy face because it was good. Yay. So I hope everyone is not getting too swamped down with finals. Mine's actually not too horrible. I have a big presentation and by big I don't mean like long because it's only 15 minutes but I have to do a lot of research for it in my um, gothic revival class and then I have to turn in a portfolio of my work from the semester for my forms of desire English class and then I have to write a final paper for my theater class so definitely stuff to do but hopefully it's manageable and I'm going to be attending the royal wedding on Friday hopefully I will be able to update my video um, when I'm traveling, but I'm not sure yet, so I'll keep you posted on that. And in reference to that, actually, Sarah, that's fine. Don't I don't want you to stress out about the punishment. I meant it to be fun and not stressful. Um, so if you're too bogged down with work, and you're right, your your reasons for not posting were pretty valid. It was more the fact that there were two whole weeks where I was the only one that posted, and I'm boring, so that was sad. So that's why I punished you both. But you you, you had pretty legitimate reasons for not posting. So if you do not feel up to doing the punishment, that's fine. But keep in mind, if you do not have a legitimate reason to post in the future, that is right there in my back pocket. Kara, however, you have not posted in, I think, over a month, maybe two. I, I should go check. But anyway, you have not posted in a very long time. So I want to see videos out of you soon. Even if your face is swollen with allergies, because that would be funny. So punishment video and updates. How is your life? I do not know. Uh, yeah. But that's all for this week. I'm going to wrap up now because I've been babbling. And this has ended up being longer than I wanted it to because I just want to go watch Glee. Oh, but I do have a funny story left. Maybe after the credits. So that's all. Okay. Goodbye. Audrey, Audrey. morning I told uh, I asked my flatmate Duncan if I could borrow some milk and butter and in return he could eat some of my pancakes and I made pancakes on Easter and they're delicious so I was using the same recipe and the thing about our flat is we have some measuring cups but we don't have any measuring spoons among many other things we don't have so I have to eyeball a lot of things so I'm making my mix and I use the same same recipe and this time I remembered to add sugar I didn't add sugar last time they're still good but I remembered to add sugar this time I'm like oh they're gonna be especially good and I borrowed some of his cinnamon so I was like they're gonna great I make one I get it to Duncan and he's eating it and I was like oh is it good he's like yeah yeah and he, he asked me oh what did you put it in and I tell him and I'm like, he's like okay and then he's still eating it and then I make another one and I start nibbling on it as I start to make the next one and I'm like this is really salty he's like yeah it kind of is I was like like really salty and he's like yeah yeah, I don't know if I can finish it. I was like, yeah, I don't think I can either. It tasted a lot like a pretzel, but then like just overwhelmingly salty. And what must have happened is I must have just eyeballed my teaspoons of baking powder way incorrectly this time. Because it was the same recipe and it worked last time, but I just didn't do it well this time apparently. So I felt really bad because I used up his milk and butter and didn't give him edible pancakes. So I'm going to have to make more pancakes probably this evening to redeem myself. Because I swear I can make good pancakes. They were so good on Easter. Carter agrees with me. He says they're almost perfect. So hopefully I can make another perfect batch to make up for my atrocious batch this morning.